let us make this beautiful antique looking canvas today i have first taken a hardboard canvas of 12 inch by 16 inch and without any uh, primer i am using this yellow rich yellow color this is a chalk paint from icraft and uh, you know the consistency of this the the color is so nice that you don't have to really prime your canvas as such so remove some color in a, a bowl or a palette dip the sponge in it gradually start adding color on the canvas by dabbing the sponge all over first give a nice layer of one color and then after a while we are going to give another layer another coat of the same color so take good amount of this and cover carefully all the white bases I love the finishing of these chalk paints. You know, it gives a real uh, matte yet very uh, it's like pastel color. It makes the uh, base. Now, this color can be used on any material as well. It can be used on, let's say, uh, wood. It can be used on metal surfaces, on glass. It works. is fine for me everywhere i mean i don't uh, think i need to use anything else to make my surface uh, to ready my surface for any artwork you can see a little amount of color and my whole canvas is good well Take your time doing this. Don't don't you know uh, be in a hurry. Enjoy your first step. Now these colors they uh, dry comparatively uh, quicker than the uh, rest of the colors like you know acrylic paints, water based colors. just like to mention do not use any amount of water while you are uh, painting with this once it's done just tilt it a bit towards the light you can you'll be able to see where you know uh, you need more of a bit uh, dabbing Once it's done, I guess um, you can use a hair dryer or uh, just allow it to dry naturally. Take your time to dry it. Allow it to dry uh, for let's say half an hour or so. By then, let me just tell you about this next step. It is called the uh, Insta Transfer Sheet, which is made by iCraft. Now, this is what what. we are going to transfer it on to our painted canvas there are many designs available in this and nicely you know explain the steps are nicely explained i also have this uh, grid drawn uh, behind with arrows to show that which is the upward side and so on so what we are going to do right now is uh, we will just uh, cut on the edges this way so as to know which part is to be transferred this step is actually optional but then i like to do it because you know it it merges with the uh, base very nicely it doesn't give a very sharp edgy look carefully just cut it now when you're cutting it uh, you because of the light you will understand that there is this uh, shiny thing it is actually a plastic 
क्लिंज ऑफ फिल्म काइंड ऑफ थिंग विच इज अबाउ दी रोज प्रिंट वंस यू फिनिश फिनिश कटिंग एंड वंस यू आर रेडी विद having an idea of what or how much actually is supposed to be transferred you can um you can throw over the rest and you need to take a vessel to pour in a generous amount of water make sure that it is big enough so that uh, you can put this film put this page inside it carefully remove that plastic film which was shining from above gradually go about it and make sure that once you remove it you don't touch the design because that is that would be really sticky now inside so uh, just let go of that plastic film and you have to insert this inside the water so make sure that your water bowl is ready i've taken a dish uh, it's a bit gradually dip this upside down in the water now as and when the water enters the paper it soaks up the paper you can see the uh, you know the color gets darker the paper gets darker as if it is becoming gray and the it is soaking in all the water let's say this takes about uh, 30 seconds wet it very well only then the design will get transferred on your uh, base so uh, don't hesitate to over wet it it's okay <laughs> those two hands are of my daughter she was helping me now once you once you're done with this carefully drop it on your on the center of your canvas and press all the uh, all the designs you'll be able to see the uh, design make sure that you remove you press all the uh, you know water out you can take a piece of tissue or let's say a cloth even that um sponge a sponge is also fine and soak in all the water such that it is roughly dried and carefully pick up the paper you will see that the design has been transferred now it's time for our second layer second coat of the color again using the same color and the same uh, dabber this time we will merge the edges with the other part and also give the second layer if you can see that i am just dabbing over the edges of the uh, transfer sheet doing this it will you know it will look like it is a part of the uh, canvas itself it won't look separate again take your time doing this don't do this in a hurry you don't want to spoil the design at all and there are people who uh, like this much enough they don't want to do anything else so even that is fine i have added a step more but you can stop here you can just give uh, borders to the uh, canvas a black border or a red border and even that is fine fair enough or you can choose a uh, smaller canvas let's say uh, 8 inch by 12 inch that is also all right this is 
a very quick uh, home decor way for everyone who is not confident to let's say draw or paint so nicely and yet you know wish to do something by themselves and just check on again all the uh, whole canvas how this to dry let us say give it a lot another uh, 20 to 30 minutes let it dry completely and then i'll be starting with the next step which is stencil so this is a, a stencil again with leaves right and i'm taking uh, the same icraft chalk paints a green one and a red one this time i've taken a smaller dabber make sure that you hold the stencil in its uh, you know proper uh, proper way that it doesn't move and dab the whole thing with a green color and i wanted to give it an edge of red So I took just a bit of red and more amount of green on the same dabber and carefully I edged up all the leaves with a tinge of red I wanted to give I didn't want to give the leaves a fresh look as I was trying to make it look a bit uh, antique and a bit dark fresh green was not uh, enough for me i wanted it to be a bit more brownish uh, continue doing this as and when uh, you know it becomes light it becomes uh, dry fill up all the places where it is empty with the uh, random leaf shape with the same dabber This time I took only red color and edged all four sides of the canvas this way. Make sure you do it inside out and not outside in. As well as make sure that you uh, color the red edges as well. With a black permanent marker, just give rough outlines the leaves and a simple vein in the center that's it you're not doing much detailed intricate work here this much is enough once you do this to the whole canvas your project is ready for protecting this is the icraft uh, decoupage varnish they have a matte varnish also and i also like to use this asian paint varnish which they you know use for the furniture you can use any all right what i am doing right now is i'll just uh, i have removed some varnish in uh, uh, another place with a flat brush to start painting this varnish or covering the whole canvas with the varnish take generous amount as we want to seal all the paint all the transfers all the uh, permanent inks that we have used on it till the canvas a bit if you want to see where exactly uh, the layers of this varnish is not varnish is going to take around 24 hours to dry the asian paint ones and uh, also just don't uh, you know keep on touching to check whether it is dried or not just apply all over evenly and leave it to air dry for 24 hours and your canvas painting is ready hope you liked it see you around